Dragon Ball Dyla is out and we have the first three episodes available to watch and I am here to give you my thoughts, my first impressions, kind of like a review, but y you'll see, you'll see. So I want to talk about the episodes. I'm going to talk about one and two pretty quickly, but I'm going to talk about three more so because it's just released. And I think what I'm going to end up doing is do these sort of like episode thoughts, these episode first impressions every week. So if that's something you're into, please let me know and I'll keep doing these. If not, I might have to stop. But if you guys like this, uh, leave that like and tell me down below in the comments just so I know that this is cool. All right. So essentially, I want to talk about episode one. And well, I feel like episode one and two should have been together because episode one was just a setup episode for the most part. We got some lore. We got some really cool recreations of the Boo Saga that everybody was yapping about, mainly because, well, it just looked so beautiful. It looked so good. Some people were, were even calling for a Kai too, <laughs> which would have been pretty silly, would have been pretty funny. And it just, it's really cool, like, all the stuff we learned throughout episode 1 and 2. Like, we got a bunch of lore drops, like, the ears, you know, if they're pointy. You know, not everybody, but most people are from the demon realm. It made, uh, they kind of retcon Piccolo a little bit. Just, just a little bit Piccolo. Because, essentially, you know, in the original Dragon Ball, we're like, oh, yeah, mm-hmm. Yep, 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 Piccolo out here is a demon. And, you know, Z comes out, oh, he's an alien. Now we got this, well, yeah, they are demons, but they also, you know, went to a different planet. Technically, they're both. So that's really nice. That's good to know. I like that. I like that. I like that. And uh, another thing that I do want to briefly mention as well is Krillin, because people were saying, well, that's not his original child design. Why does he look different? I'd like to say, well, they didn't go back in time. So his design's probably different because this is Krillin if he was young. I guess essentially they just reverted him. It's not like they made him younger i don't know how to explain it essentially he's younger but he's not like time traveling <laughs> so i feel like that's like the best way to kind of put it so you know obviously he's a police officer now he's got gains they just made him small so yeah there's that <laughs> um but yeah you know i i don't really have too 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 much to say but if you guys want me to say more i can i i will say actually i do have one thing shenron having to grant one wish on somebody who's not like a who's not a regular is really funny. Uh, Shenron has favorites, apparently. And here's something I do want to talk about just general, like generally about Dragon Ball Daima. And I think it's really cool. It's super nostalgic. And it's nostalgic to original Dragon Ball in so many beautiful ways. Like, you could tell Toriyama really had his hand in there because of all the silly jokes. That being said, in the, you know, in the theme song, essentially it's like a thousand jabs. So for like a bunch of Z like fans a bunch of z meatheads and i said and silly jokes are to come like i love how like the theme song really just explore like it's super like exploration super like mysterious but at the same time it's like oh it's gonna be like a funny little adventure like i love that so and it's clear to see from episode three which i'm gonna go straight into now because it's like well that's what's recent that's what's new that's what i just watched and i feel like you guys are gonna be more interested into my thoughts on the newest episode and well dog absolutely chef's keys i like it there were a bunch of jokes like goku farted i'm like ah ha 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 um you know him eating the hamburgers and just like beating ass i'm like okay you know he's out here like kicking butt and he's eating his hamburgers like that's a pretty good meme good good bit essentially like there's a lot of great bits but there was also action and it's just like it just leaves me wanting more like there's so many questions i have and that's amazing because that means they're I have a feeling some questions are going to get answered, but it's funny that uh, they had a hotel, uh, the volcanoes, the gas. So not only did they nerf him from being small, they're also nerfing him in the demon realm because of the gas making the air heavy. At first I was like, oh, is it a gravity thing? Apparently it's not a gravity thing. It's just the air is heavier. So like, there's just a lot of stuff where I'm like, oh, wow. Like they really thought about everything. Like it seems like a lot of the questions that I had during the episode were answered. And, you know, there's a reason for Goku being small. And it's just, it's just beautiful. Also, funny, funny thing I do want to talk about. So now we know that the fish is called Warp. And apparently, apparently, uh, when you go inside its mouth, they come out the back. <laughs> so I don't know how intentional that was, but knowing the humor of Dragon Ball and stuff, that was definitely intentional. So, ah, I don't know, Chef's Kiss. Honestly, this was such a good episode. I, it, if I missed something, tell me down below in the comments. I just, I wanted to be like a quick little chat. I don't want to take too much of your time. 
just watch Dragon Ball Diamond if you get the chance, because it's actually flames. <laughs> yes, I'm glazing, okay? I'm glazing. It's Toriyama's last project. Let me have this. It's actually... Mwah, mwah.